Hi, it's Emma Tibbins, The Relational Marketer, and I just want to create this quick, quick video. I've been getting many um, questions about how I do this. Um, you know, my clients are asking me about this, so I figured I'd create a quick video about how you can create your own customized video thumbnail on YouTube. If, if you're creating videos on YouTube, maybe you're just starting out or maybe you've been creating some videos for a while, you'll notice that video selects a a frozen screen where you're like, you know, maybe your mouth is open or maybe you're like, you know, it's not your best face, um, frozen. And, uh, and, and video or, or YouTube uses that as the first uh, the first thing that your your audience or the people who are going to watch your video that's the first thing they see and sometimes it's not very attractive or sometimes you're not too uh, crazy about that right so what you can do are two things one is and this is what I personally do is I go through my video you know I play right here the play arrow and I play the video and I freeze it to um, a frame that is pretty much acceptable okay so uh, in this example, like yeah, this this image right here that I'm showing you right here is quite acceptable. You know, it's moving. It's not a frozen smile. It's like I was in the middle of a sentence. So I pick this. I choose this, and I freeze the frame right here. And then what I do, since I have a Mac a MacBook Pro, I create. I do what's called um, Shift Command and three. Shift Command and three. You hear that? There's a click. It's almost like it captures the screen. And I believe in uh, on PC, it's a print screen. So you print the screen and you open it in a file and save it as a photo. Okay? That's on, uh, that's on PC. Uh, on Macs, what I do is I just create this as a, um, a JPEG, you know, uh, Shift Command 3 captures the entire screen. Then what I do next is I go to this uh, uh, I go to this photo online editor that has that requires no flash. I don't know about you, but many times I've tried to crop or put text on some images online. You know, using uh, one of my favorites is really Pixlr, p i x l r dot com. But sometimes, depending on the upgraded flash version uh, plugin, when it's not up to date, it crashes. And so I discovered one that does not require flash and this is what's called Dr. Pick. So drpick.com, it's really, really cool. So what you do, uh, okay, since I've already cropped this one, I'm gonna go back to maybe load another picture, okay? So I'm gonna go and load that picture that um, that I just captured earlier and normally it's housed on my desktop. So I will find that, if you see this is a screenshot that I just did with you earlier so then I'm gonna have to load the picture right now right there see it's loading and then once it's loaded all you need to do is of course I don't want all of these other images around it right so you just go up here with this crop and oops and you just click on here and drag drag on that area left mouse click and then just drag, meaning left mouse click, and then drag your mouse or your pad here, your, um, what do you call this on the on the pad? Right next to your keyboard uh, to, to drag and uh, just the area that you want to include in the image that you wanna, what that you wanna use. And once you're done with that, all you need to do is to click on save. Oh, wait. Click on, or is that for this one? We need to crop again, I believe, and or just hit the enter button. There you go. See, you hit the return or the enter button, and then now you can save it to disk. All right, so it saves it to disk. So on the Mac, if it's not defaulted into saving it as a JPEG, you might have to go back on your uh, Finder. I just go uh, today, and then see right here, this is the picture. So what I do is I uh, right mouse click and I open, oh, I'm sorry, I get the info. So I can add the JPEG. I change the title to let's say ET get productive screenshot. And then I make sure I put the extension .jpeg. And it'll ask you to add the JPEG and then it instantly becomes a JPEG. Okay. Um, 
So then now when I'm ready to use it, let's say I'm going to go back to my video channel here, YouTube. If I go to uh, edit right here, you see right here it says influence settings and it's enhancements. Um, I'm going to click on the influence settings because that means I can edit the info settings. You see right here, there's three images that YouTube has selected for me and it says set as thumbnail, set as thumbnail, set as thumbnail. Right now, it's defaulted to the second one, which is like the middle, and I'm not crazy about it. So I'm going to click on custom thumbnail right here, okay? And I'm going to look for where that image was that we created today, and that is Get Productive screenshot right here, okay? So I open that and see here how it's uploading right now. It's uploading, it takes a few seconds, and there it is. So now that becomes a choice. I click on change image, okay, and then I save the changes. So guess what? Instead of any of this not very pleasant you know, images of me in the video, I was able to select my own thumbnail for my YouTube video, all right? So go ahead and just uh, rewind and review. If if it's too if if I was too fast, go ahead and just keep uh, continue on reviewing and rewinding and uh, let me know how this video has helped you. Okay, all right. Until then, I'm cheering you on and bye for now.